Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us once again for the Discipline Therapy Podcast on this Discipline Therapy Thursday with your two incredible hosts, seven-time author, Mr. E.L. Discipline, and with him always, Suhei Sotomayor. But before we start, start, you know how we do. I like doing that. <laughs> All right. All right, now Mr. Yutlisman is going to do his thing. Ladies and gentlemen, merchandise, don't forget. Uh, discipline Therapy Launch Cart dot store slash shop. Mm-hmm. That's good, good stuff. My uh, daughter bought a, a, a sweatsh- sweatshirt from there. Even she said the quality is ridiculous. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we know you're fiends, and you know what that means. We're serving you your dose weekly of discipline therapy where... Not everything is completely free. We have um, content exclusively for you to see. On Patreon. On Patreon. What is free is this judgment-free, sucker-free, sensor-free, sensitive-free, and some liberty. God and the ancient ancestors are great. That means everything else is straight. So go grab your wine, popcorn, and my favorite roll of blunt. But make sure children are in bed. Why? Because we have that soul food and sometimes vulgar conversation. Prepare your mind to be fed. Like one of inhale life and exhale strife. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, you are tuned in too. Spent every podcast. We're mm-hmm. here. All right. We have season 10, episode 107. Why is masculinity and femininity important in a romantic relationship dynamic? Um, that was a workshop question back uh, September 24th when we had the divine the first divine disciplines workshop. And we have a special guest on the phone today. Hello, special guest. How are you? I'm good. How's everyone? Good. Would you like to state your name or do you want to remain anonymous? Um, yes, I would love to state my name. My name is Octavia, um, but my Instagram name is Mrs. Too Hot for TV. Oh, okay. Um, and did you hear the, the topic? I did. All right. So before we get into that, um, because I know you're gonna jump right into. It. Um, why do you believe masculinity and femininity is important in a relationship, a romantic relationship dynamic? Okay. Um, I believe it's important because um, it it plays both roles. Like a woman has to play her role, the feminine role, and a man has to be masculine. If 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 the roles are not met. Then, in my opinion, it's not a, you know everyone has a part because it's, it's important. The role is important in both in both relations. A man has to be the provider. He has to be the masculine. He has to lead his woman, and a woman has to be submissive to that. And if if both of them don't cross, then to me it's not a relationship. Then to me, you might as well be with the same sex. So so it's very important that it's that it's both played because. Again, the man's supposed to be the leader. The man's supposed to be the provider. The man's supposed to lead his woman. He's supposed to protect him and the family. The woman's supposed to be the nurturer um, and submit to his, his her husband or or boyfriend, whatever you want to call it. But I, I would prefer a husband, so I would say a husband. Um, and if those roles do not, if they don't play, if they don't play the role of it, then to me, it's not a, a real relationship. It's just, you know... If the roles are not met, then to me, it's just, you might have to be platonic. You might as well mm. be a friend. Okay. I'm going to get at you a little bit. You ready? <laughs> are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All the things you're saying is great. I don't disagree. However, I want to know some things. When have you adopted this ideology? Um, That's number one. And number two, are women in your circle or like you speak like this because I know you're a young black lady so from you know my experience some uh, ob- observation haven't had ha- happened to me but from what my observation is especially with the black community black women black women latinas even but more black women, Caribbean, American black, no matter. Black women have an issue with the stuff that you stated. Most of them, I will correct myself, most, the majority. It's like a handful who will say what you say. 
for black women. So I want to know, do you have other people in your circle who think like this? Family, where did you come from? Family, right? Um, and when did, and if not, when did you adopt this um, ideology? I would say my brought up, because I was brought up in a Christian home, and our, um, we always taught that a man who finds a good wife finds a good thing. So that's what came from a man is supposed to be the leader of the home. Like my, my parents, however, I grew up both parents in my home, and dad was the provider, and my dad was, and my mom was not home with the children. So provider, my mom sent my mom basically falling off to my dad and listening to him, the society generation that we're in, I feel like most black women, they don't not, they're not, like this generation coming up, there's a lot of single women who, who's taking care of the role of both parents. So me personally, this can only speak for my behalf. I'm a black woman, I'm a single, single mom, and my daughter grew up with no father. So I had to play both roles. So, in my, so I had to become an independent woman. I had to be the sole provider. I had to be the strong one. And I feel like since because of that, I put bitter in, bitter in most Black women. It, it builds up attitude. We had to build up character that we did not want to have. But we were put in situations where we had to. And now, as you mentioned, like I don't have, like this generation, a lot of women don't want to follow the man because men, to be honest, we don't feel like, they're not good leaders now. A lot of men mm -hmm. grow up in broken homes, no fathers. They have no role, no male role model in their lives. A lot of them grew up in the streets, and a lot of them make bad, wrong decisions. And because of that, it lacks the black man in the home. And um, I think that plays a role in a lot of our minds now. Like I'm independent. I don't want you telling me nothing. The attitudes are coming out. The bitterness, the frustration, um, the resentment. Of, yeah, resentment. Mm -hmm. That's, I have, resentment because of my situation mm -hmm. like that. you know so that to me builds up and that's the reason why it's hard tonight a black woman to like you know that's why I think a lot of men they outside the race now because of it because I heard a lot of men saying the black women get attitude they don't listen they're they're very argumentative um well, can I ask you a question do mm -hmm. do your um like do your circle of, of friends like the women in your life are they more like you or do, are they more like that um, they're more like me. I don't have a lot of friends. I will go based on my sisters. My sisters are like me. They they don't want to listen. They're hard head because it, they're they're raising their kids on their own. They're frustrated. They're resentment. Um, but I you know I don't have too many female friends. I can say that don't believe that I am like believe they like, they believe the same way I think in a way. I don't have a good friendship I can look at or or relationship I can look at and say okay no she she feels differently. Um. But my my circle of friends is again is like my sisters. They believe they they think how I think. They you know all we're all single mothers. <laughs> we all mm. uh, you know raising our children on our own. So it, it built up resentment, like you mentioned, and anger and frustration and attitudes. Okay, so they all think like you. You said yes. This way, yes. The man mm -hmm. is to lead. Okay, so it's just natural that you think like this. You didn't just adapt this um like this year um as I, I'm, I'm beyond as i'm getting older i mean i i started i'm evolving i'm i'm healing i'm i'm evolving so i won't say I have the same feelings if i had a relationship now i would listen to my husband i would you know i'm working on that now as a single woman so i feel like the older woman does get you know, things do adapt and change. But but back in my twenties, yes, I was very resentment, hard head. I was I was all of that. But now, I'm now because <laughs> you're adapting this this change, is yeah. it is the adaption coming because you see the results? I want to see results, yes. And I've and I watch a lot of You want things. to see results or you have saw the result? I want to see. I haven't had a I have a health relationship yet as of yet. So I haven't seen it yet, but I want it. Okay. So can I ask you a question? Do you feel like it's um easy for you easier for you or harder for you to adapt from how you were? I think it's easier because I don't think the same way. Like okay. I used to think it was all about me, 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 and no, it's not always about me. Um I'm learning to 
not be as selfish as I used to be and mm. learning things about me that I, I kind of realized I wasn't ready for a relationship then. But um, again, I'm older now, so I'm willing to put the work in and do some changing so I can see the results. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so, so just me interpreting that she saw the results of her being the other way. Oh yeah, and it wasn't that positive. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it's like if I want to win now, I got I got to mm-hmm. change. That's what I interpret. Uh, am I right or wrong? You're right. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. So. So now, when you go out there and you date and you you're attracting these different type of men, what type of men are you accepting, entertaining, going on dates with? Christian well, I, men? I definitely, yes. Christian does play a role. Um, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. What are no. you accepting, though? You know, you're a beautiful woman, so I'm pretty sure, like, men are in your DM and stuff like that. Are you compromising the type of man you want, being with wh- whomever, going on dates with whomever? Or are you, like, steadfast on your type? I'm definitely steadfast because I don't want to waste time, so I'm only accepting men that desire what I'm looking for. If they're not desiring what I'm looking for, then I won't even waste my time with them at this point. Before I would waste my time thinking maybe I can change their mind or maybe things will change or I don't do that anymore. So if I meet a guy, I'm only accepting men that that say from the beginning what their intentions are. So and if there's sorry. Sorry. If their intentions are the same with me, they want to they're dating only for purpose. They're dating to marry. They're dating for marriage. And I want to pursue that. I won't pursue anything else. Would you date outside your race? No. Okay. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? How old am I? Yes. 35. 35, single mom. Mm-hmm. Would you date a man younger than you? No. Okay. So he has to be like 35 or older. Yes. No kids? Um, he can have children, just no more than two. Okay. And black? Yes. Okay. And single? Definitely. <laughs> Not, um, you know, he has somebody he's, or he's talking to other people. He has to be single. Single. Yes. Okay. Now, hmm. That's like, um, where, like, what type of demographic do you live in? Um, more, it's not like 90% Caucasian here. Okay. So you feel, do you feel like you're going to have to, um, travel to get what you want? I was about to think, I was thinking the same thing. Like, where would you, where where would you meet a man? All these questions are very important, miss. That's why I'm asking them. Um, I would definitely move to with more predominantly black. So I know in the southern states, and, uh, there's better chance of meeting them there. Because uh, here it's predominantly white. Mm. Mm. Makes sense. So what, what type of woman do you consider yourself to be? Um, I'm very... Um, independent i'm very determined i'm very goal-minded i don't want to just settle for just anything i'm always reaching trying to get the highest to where i can get um i'm very easy going i'm not hard to get along with uh, i don't come with ba- baggage i mean i have my one daughter who's almost grown so it's like i have a whole bunch of baggage i come with mm. I'm, I'm going i'm caring I mean, I could be stubborn at times of working on the things I've noticed about myself. Um, I'm just a woman who knows what she wants. I'm not settling. I'm not, I have standards. I'm not, I used to be very mimic and shy and I'm very like, you know, I'm telling you no. I'll be scared to tell a person no. Uh, you know, I don't like telling people no, but now I have no problem letting you know where I stand with you or letting you know this ain't working for me instead of just being quiet no i'm going to stand up for myself so how how did that come about that change because i just feel like you know if you don't you'll just you'll just accept anything like if i could my decisions 
that I have made, I wasn't proud of. I feel like I just stood firm and saying no, it would have prevented a lot of heartache, a lot of disappointments if I would just said no from the beginning. But I, as you mentioned, I kept thinking things would change, it would get better. Mm. I'll make mine, but I'm older now. I know I can't change no one's mind. So based on, um, based on the type of woman that you are, do you believe you deserve the type of man you need? Yes, I do. So this because this is part of the healing process. Being it honest, is. being honest with yourself. Mm. If I go on your Instagram, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Snapchat, whatever social media you would say, would you say that you exude feminine energy? If you're looking for a masculine man or masculine energy, I would say yes, but I don't get. I don't know what that looks like. I have been told, "Oh, you take like in my mind when I take photos, I don't think, or oh, let me put my, my my cleavage in it to 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 get attention." I don't think like that, but I've been told, "Don't put your cleavage like your pinky cleavage. You're giving the wrong message." So now, when I take photos, I I be mindful of that. Who told you um, that? A, a male friend of mine. He was like, you know, you're showing your cleavage too much. I'm like, I'm not intentionally doing that. Some women intentionally put yourself out there. I don't do that. I don't want that type of attention. But for somehow, I keep getting that type of attention. I get men that literally just look at my body and just want me for one thing. Well, one thing, but it's like I'm not, I'm not trying to post, you know, put that out there. I mean, I post a lot of golly quotes. My daughter, me. I don't post like, you know, anything derogative nudity or anything so I would feel like I if people didn't know me they can see that I'm a feminine woman you know I post soft music at times you know just to get people in the vibe like on my live like on my live but on my story so just to show that I you know I'm a, you know I'm a cool relaxed love, mm. music, love. that's nice I, yeah so I put myself out there that I'm feminine but again I don't know what that looks like for for your perspective or what that looks like it, is is your mom feminine? Like, would you say your mother's feminine or your sister's? Are they soft or like are they rough? I would definitely say no. My mom is not soft, and my some of my sisters. There's, there's six of us. I would say one sister in particular is soft, but the other ones I would not say not as much. All right, I got a scenario for you. Right, I'm an artist. I got the brush. I'm gonna paint the perfect picture. You go to a bookstore. You're looking for a particular type of book. You don't know that the, their their um their time of operation, business operation hours. You know you're not you're unaware of it. You just see it close close to your uh, house, a business um a bookstore. You go into that bookstore. You're looking. You're looking. You can't find it. You go into the bathroom. As you're in the bathroom, there's a night manager. He shuts down. Shuts the bookstore down. He checks everywhere for if anybody makes an announcement we're, we're shutting down you can't hear the announcement maybe you have your headphones on earbuds while you're in the bathroom like is they're closing the store you're closing saying? the oh. store yeah so now he shuts down everything he checks he remember he's a male so he's he's gonna check thoroughly in the man's bathroom but he doesn't check thoroughly in the female's bathroom he just looks down you know because you know what i'm saying that's how it is he's uncomfortable of doing that so he just bends, you know, bends his head to the side or whatever. He looks down. He doesn't see your feet. Maybe you're, maybe for like a quick second, you put your feet up. <laughs> so now he shuts down everything, lights and all of that. He leaves, puts the alarm on. I don't know if they have an alarm. Maybe they do. Puts an alarm on, shuts down the building. Now you come out of the bathroom and you're like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? The lights are off or whatever. You're trying to make a call. Your Your phone dies. Or there's no Wi-Fi. Yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> so your phone dies and you don't have the charger. The charger's actually in your car, but the door is locked. Damn. So you're locked in. You're locked in this bookstore. What section or genre would you camp into in? Oh my. I don't think that would be on my mind at that time. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm working on how no. to get out. You have to stay there. Yes. Until the morning. You have to you stay have there to. until the morning. Oh my gosh. Um definitely I would say I will pick like a nonfiction urban novel. Like I used to I loved Omar, I think his name was Omar something and Zane. I would definitely be in one of those Zane. sections. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> 
subtle. People forget uh, about Zane. Before Fifty Shades of Grey, there was Zane. People forget about was. that. You know, there's another author super talented that I would totally go for. El Discipline. Stop doing that. That was my that was my chance to shout you out. Ugh. You Maybe. didn't see it because you're on the phone, but he right when I was saying that, he started pointing to himself. Come on. Oh. I know. It was a setup. Do you know the whatever in basketball? Hell you. <laughs> so so um what's your favorite movie? Love Jones. You see how oh, you answered good. that quicker than the book? <laughs> it's good. That's good. She's not. She's not trapped in a movie theater. She's trapped at a bookstore. Yeah. <laughs> Love Jones. Okay. Um, okay. So, what do you believe we can do as people to thrive in a in in this world, and most importantly, with the opposite sex? I would say, give the both part is needed. I know men. I read a lot of books. Men need respect. Women need love. I think if those are met, the needs are met, then. I like I that men need respect and women need Yeah, love. I think that will be a start of, you know, once I think more of our needs are met than once, I think will be a better outcome. Mm. So need it, you know, we need to feel that love. Men need to feel that respect. Yeah. So if both things are needs are taken care of, then more than once I think it will be better than we can thrive. Because my needs are being met, his needs are being his needs are being met, her needs are being met. Mm -hmm. So what would men need to do to get back in their role or core energy? And what would women need to do? Men need to definitely be men. I mean. How? Meaning like, stop lacking. You know, when a woman tell, a lot of times when a woman expresses how they feel, they look at it as a, as a them complaining and they shut off. Like, I'm telling you this because it bothers me. In my situation, like, I'm telling you because it bothers me bothers me now when i stop saying it all together that's when you should be concerned because now i gave up mentally i thought like you play your role and i play mine i'm going to make sure your needs are met i feel like if a man does what he's supposed to do a woman who obviously loves is going to follow pursuit what's he supposed and, to do yeah exactly what is he supposed to do oh he's supposed to provide he's supposed to give her that love give her that attention be that protector for her be that support for her don't lie um, no one's perfect. So, you know, if you're not ready for all of that, then don't sign up for it. Don't lead her on. Mm. Um, if he lies and she's not honest. She's not honest? No, wait a minute. That's that's two of the same things. If he's, <laughs> if if he he's honest, if he's honest, but she's lying or even withholding, she's not being vulnerable. What about that? Is it still the man's fault? It's definitely not the man's fault. The woman has to work on her. That's something I've been working on myself. I Wait, you like said it's definitely the man's fault? No, it's not. Oh. It will be shown in the beginning. If you can tell when a woman, you know, is not being... I mean, if you... It depends. I mean, you can get a sense of who's playing games and whose attentions, who's lying. You can kind of get a sense of it. Yeah. You're really in tune. That's true. Um, you're right. You're right. And I'm, I'm, I was playing devil's advocate. <laughs> I was playing devil's advocate because devil. because you were saying if the man is doing everything he needs to do, the woman will naturally do this. And and I'm showing you that it doesn't necessarily work like that always. But That's you true. said you said the key thing. She needs to work on herself. She's not healed. Mm. Why is yeah. he being straight up and honest and not leading her on, but she's leading him on? She's not, oh, I got a big secret, but I'm not going to tell you yet. She's not, she, she's being, she's not being vulnerable. She's, um, and these are just hypotheticals. Right, not being honest with she, her emotions. You know, emotions. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's trying to see her, she's ducking him, but then she could be telling him, oh, I'm really into you though. I'm just busy. She said something key. You're going to see that. Men need to see that. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. like I said, if a woman, it doesn't matter. She could have kids, be busy. She's ducking you. She's not interested. Yeah. Because a woman is always going to make time. They are, she yeah. might even text you first. Mm. All that uh, pursuing it. He already pursued you. He got your number. He's courting you. But now it's up to her. Is she texting? To keep it going. Yes, because mm -hmm. it's, it's it has to be to show interest. him I'm still interested. Yes, it right? has to be interest on mm -hmm. both sides. So yeah, so that's that's that was good. I mean, do you want to say any final thoughts? Uh, do you have any disputes 
Do you like us? Do you not like us? Do you have a problem with me? That's so weird. I was going to say, is there one person you like and one you don't? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think for, this is the first time I actually did something like this. And I'm, I'm glad. Oh, that's I, so I, nice. Yay, you did it with yeah. us. <laughs> I'll be having a lot to say, but no one to say it to. So oh, I'm, we're going to bring you back on. <laughs> appreciate, I appreciate you coming on. Very. Yeah, thank you. That was awesome. Yeah, thank you again. Both All right. of you guys. All right. All right, All right have, have a good, good night, one. okay? You too as well. All right, bye-bye. Oh, well, she was nice. Cool. Yep, yep, yep. No. Take that. Like, no. <laughs> yes. that. And then right. we do this. And Let's get into it. I was telling you because some of the parts is just going to be right, right. facts or statistics, you, so it wouldn't be any, it's not a question. All right. So um, we don't need to go through those pores, what type of woman you are, man, stuff like that. Okay. What so we, we could talk about is um, we don't need to talk about that, it, it, social media and shit like that. It's, but, right. You on. guys could go on my social media yeah. and see. <laughs> um, in a relationship dynamic. Okay. In a relationship dynamic, we revert back to our instincts. I said this at the workshop. Mm -hmm. We revert back to our instincts uh, when we're triggered. And do, this is due to like survival mechanisms. This is such as feeding, reproduction, fight or flight, immune systems, lifting heavy objects, loosening tight jars, accidents, abuse, birth process, physical trauma, stress, emotional trauma, environmental trauma drug interactions neurological reflexes with men and women okay so the whole it, it doesn't matter women are like i'm strong independent i don't need a man blah 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 blah. i mean it's just like gorillas we're we're the best rah 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 i can yell louder than you oh attitude attitude ah, 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 whatever right uh -huh. it doesn't matter because due to these things we will always revert back to our instincts remember when i told you in a show I think, um, I don't remember, but I, maybe a couple of shows prior that I, when I look at women, I look at them as inferior. 102. The, <laughs> He's like, I remember one, now. Uh, um, season you two. can't ask a, no. No, season one. This season. Oh, this is. You can't ask a fish how to catch a fish. You must ask a fisherman. Ten. Yes. So I said, like, I look at women as inferior, not equal. Oh, with the guest caller. Femininity. Yeah, so it's not a disrespectful thing. Mm -hmm. It's just like I know certain things. You can't bend us over. You can't spank us. You can't, you know, erotic officiation. You can't, you know, hold us accountable. You can't do anything physically to us. You can't take things away. You can't hold a, a man accountable? A woman can't hold a man accountable? Wouldn't that she be. You shouldn't. Why not? Wouldn't, isn't no. that like a. Like a checks and balance kind of, you know what I mean? Like no. if he's not like holding himself accountable and she sees that. Then she shouldn't be with him. Okay. That makes the sense. The man should okay. be holding himself accountable. He's going to be the leader. Yeah, that I agree. I agree. Um, so like she can't do that stuff. Mm -hmm. She can't be like, we're both the father figure here. We're both superior. You know what I'm saying? They could both be royalty, mm -hmm. but there's different ranks. King, queen. They're not king and king. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I view women as you have a pussy. Like you... You can't lift 300 pounds like I do in the gym. You can't, you understand? Like you need my protection. Okay. I don't need protection from you or other things. Uh, God forbid a burglar comes in here, you're going to be relying on me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So like at the end of the day, like- Is I this for women in general or, fem or feminine women? Um, feminine women, but okay. but even women who are more in their masculine, they're gonna revert back to these instincts for survival mechanisms. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And there's always certain triggers that bring you back to being a woman. Mm -hmm. There's certain there's certain triggers that bring a man back to a man, even a weaker man, a beta. You know what I'm saying? Like what instinctively, would, what would make a beta man or a weaker man come back to his? his... Oh, baby, I need help with this jaw. It's tightened. Mm. Mm -hmm, that's true. You know what I'm saying that's not even doesn't even think. Like, I mean, the beta might um, he might hide behind you if, if, if there's a pro I was a, that's what <laughs> I that's what I was that. thinking. But like, there's still certain things. Like, obviously, he has higher levels of testosterone. He might be stronger. Oh, baby, I need the jar open, and he does that. Mm -hmm. She yeah. she can. She's limited. You know, men can't get pregnant. Men and women deal with trauma, physical trauma, abuse, emotional abuse. 
um, driven drug interaction way differently. Oh, very like different. a woman will get fucked up yeah. quicker than a man yeah. um, doing drinking drugs, and drinking stuff. Yeah. And, well, well their, a man's genetic makeup is completely different than a woman's, yeah. and their you know fat content and all mm-hmm. muscle it plays a big yeah. role. Emotional trauma is different for men and women. Mm-hmm. Environmental trauma is different for men and women, and we handle it differently. Mm-hmm. Um, even relationship trauma, heartbreaks, we yeah. handle it differently. Totally different. Men might uh, men might hurt more than women. With the heartbreak, because like a lot of men sacrifice more, you know, bringing a woman in your life or even two is a big risk. Mm. If she has a child, that's a risk. You know, you know what I'm saying? All mm-hmm. these things are risk. Women who are combative are risk. She could go outside with you and talk Have to the wrong ma- person yep. and then you got to punch him in like the that. face. Or dressing provocatively, mm. that's a risk. Taking yep. her on, she dressed provocatively outside. Men get drunk, they think she's a whole too. Yep. You got to step in, get you in trouble. Do whatever. 100%. Maybe she does can't kind of control her emotions. She wants to be dominant. She comes to your job, raises mm-hmm. hell. Mm-hmm. Then what? Now keys you're fired. Your, keys your car. Mm-hmm. Does whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? It's t- it's you know just women in general bringing them in your life is a risk. That's why it's very important you choose the right one. So you know. I mean, what? I think it's a risk with the other way around. What if she doesn't choose the right man and now he's whooping her ass, like on a daily basis? He his his you know his team lost. Bitch, it's your fault. Placata. No. Whoa. You never know. Whoa. You never know. Maybe. There are men like like that Maybe. out there. One of my uncles was like that. Maybe. He used to beat the shit out of my aunt. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Because I've, I've always heard of men like, um, because we hear this obviously a lot right. more when physical abuse come from men than women, but I've always known from what those women have told me indirectly as a critical thinker and an analytic thinker, I read in depth indirectly. She nudged that because she knows what buttons to pick. She already with a bitch. That's bitch energy. You putting her hands on her without um, consent. It's different if they live a BDSM life that, and she's like, do yeah. that to me. Cause yeah. she's a masochist. No. There's an agreement, yeah. but the difference is it's no safe word. Like he's being yeah. harassed. Yeah. There's no safe word. Yeah, no. And it's not consensual. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like, oh, Red, stop. You know what I'm saying? It's like he'll right, go. he'll keep going. But what I notice is those women are actually like a little bit, they have mental disorders because those women will get with those guys that don't have controlled aggression and their mouth is crazy. Remember, right. hold on. Remember, women cannot do anything of physical harm to us, but they can fuck us energetically, spiritually, Mentally, emotionally, verbally, of, verbally emasculate you. Yep. So you have a woman who knows that that guy is a bitch. He has bitch energy, right? He might even be dominant. I run this, I run that or whatever, but he has bitch energy. She, you a bitch. Yeah. You you a 100%. punk. 100%. And then he reacts. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you, you nudge that. Yeah, it's no. like it's like you have an uncontrolled lion. Right. No. No. That I, I understand. But this other, like my 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 aunt through marriage, but I still loved her. She's not with us anymore. But she was completely. She was the quietest. Do you want your plate? But the quietest. Very follows direction. Really quiet. Mm. And he used to beat her ass. And it went from beating her ass to beating um, her daughter's ass. So mm. my my cousin, mm. right, who was the firstborn. She got her ass beat. My cousin, the, the boy that was second born, didn't get nothing touched. Nothing. Mm-hmm. So my uncle, and my uncle was my uncle through blood, beat the, the wife, beat the daughter to the point where, you know, my aunt came to my mom and she was like, I don't know what to do. Like he just, this, it's a constant thing. I don't, I, nothing I say is right. I don't know what to do. My mom was like, get a knife and stab him. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I was like, mom, maybe that's not the right, that's not the right way to go. But you know what's funny? That the daughter turned out just like him. She was abusive to her husband, not to her kids. Yeah. She loved her kids, but her husband got abused. And then they wound up, you know, divorcing. This is the healing process yeah. if you're doing that. For you probably don't even get into that. Yeah. You know, with if if like let's say you were like that, and then now your kids become like that. Yeah. For them, they need to heal. They need to go to th- therapy. Yeah. You know, that's very imperative. And Incorporate some type of sports in their life, mm-hmm. boxing, football, mm-hmm. so they can get that aggression channel that out. aggression yep. there. So now, in in a in a way, right, with that circumstance, you know, both parties have to be aware where this is going to go. Both parties meaning like um, the woman getting beat and the husband that's beating her. Yes, that's only if they want to change. 
He didn't want to change. He was happy with how, how things were. Yes. So if a and woman, this is old school. Yes. Yeah. If a woman is the like dependent upon that man financially or whatever it is, she's gonna stay have no choice but to stay there. Now, mm-hmm. how does she get out of that situation? Could hide money. Because he's mm-hmm. already doing things that's fucking up your trust. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have respect. Him. So now, hide money, yeah. save. That's um, what she did. Um, move in with your girl. Move back home with the parents. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could do, you could get out of that. Yeah, she did. And and and, and here's the thing. At that moment, you have to put your ego aside and your pride. Oh, me going back to my family. They're going to say, oh. I told you so. No. Or the friend. You have to put your ego aside and deal with that. That's because for your that, safety. Yes. Yeah. And and your life. Yeah. You not only that. Happen. Not yes. only that, but your children too. Yeah. If you, you know, if you have them and you're going to bring them with you. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, mm. like emotional trauma, women will carry that. Mm. Men, environmental, like we deal with it different. Um, Men, um, men sacrifice a lot getting with women, um, being a provider and all of that. Mm-hmm. Um. So when women go through heartbreaks and men go through heartbreaks, especially when they're younger, it's a lot more difficult. But I would always urge men, just like I did, um, sports, mm-hmm. elevate to the highest company, um, go to the gym more, get two jobs, stay away from dating for like a year and a half or mm-hmm. a year. Um, work and get on your yourself. Stuff, work on yourself. Yeah. Um, women carry that. That's why you could always see a breakup. He might say, oh, dude, let's go to the club. And she's gonna stay there and, you know, absorb that. Mm. Maybe, you know, get fatter or you know, eating or eating um, mm. uh, whatever the uh, ice cream, yeah, watching cookies. novella, yeah. uh, or a sad movie, sad movie, <laughs> to uh, cry to. or or go to the gym. Yeah, or, and get better. Yeah, because this is how a lot of women will yeah. deal with not having a man. Go to the gym more, mm-hmm. kill, killing yourself there, being a workaholic, mm-hmm. putting in extra time. Um, strong, independent. I don't need one. That's how they're doing. Hang out with, with your it. girls. Hang more. out with your girls more. Drink, drink every day. Drink yourself to bed because you can't sleep. That's awful. You know, so this toys, toys. There's nothing wrong with toys, people. You know, um, this is how they cope with not having um, a man. Mm-hmm. Um, and you, you know what, men and women, men want to interact with women. Women, I feel more than women want to interact with men. I'm gonna give yeah, you but a, why is that? Be, I know because of the heartbreak, but they carry that. Women carry yeah. it more than men, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you examples and scenarios. A man went through a heartbreak. He meets a woman. She might come up to him, right, or he might walk up to her. They have a conversation. Mm-hmm. A woman goes through a heartbreak, still thinking about the guy, da da da, whatever it is. Maybe he cheated, dishonesty. I lost trust for him. Whatever the situation. A man walks up to her. Mm, not interested. Are you a lesbian? Mm. No, I'm just. You know, yeah, but she's that's building okay. resentment. Hold on, she's building resentment towards men. Yeah, that's not doesn't okay, trust though. men or whatever it is. Right. Oh, mm, I don't want to. You know, whatever. She mm. might not say it, or whatever. Not to be mean, but mm, get away from me. You know, whatever in their mind. That's mean. Oh, in their mind. Okay, you know? got you. So they're like, mm, no, I don't want to deal no with thanks. it right now. Yeah. No thanks. Whatever. You see, whereas men. It doesn't matter. You went through a heartbreak. It doesn't matter. He's still interacting with men. How, how many men you know? Oh no, I've been through a heartbreak. I'm, I'm healing. No, I'm good. Mm. How many men will say that? In those exact words, none. But I know one man that has actually said, um, "I'm. I need to work on myself right now because I'm not. I'm not with cool. my son." Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Only one but guy. Most most men will. And you see, he's on his elevation level, yeah. no way? Good for you. Most men won't. Yeah, no, they won't. So, yeah. But man. it's also, those are two separate things. Because if you think about it, if that, if a woman is very against, you know, cheating him, having another woman or whatever, right? And because we've stated on the show before, women think differently when it comes to relationships, most women. And men think differently, like like you said, they, they don't see cheating as cheating. You know what I mean? Because you said they, they always come back. They, they can still come back and love their girlfriends the same way, right? So if that's the thing, of course a man, if they break up because to her, he cheated, you hurt my heart, I you know, now it's in my mind. And for him, it wasn't, you know, not that it wasn't a big deal, but it kind of wasn't a big deal because that's what guys, you know, are to do. Mm-hmm. So of course he's going to, you know, if they're in the club, 
he's going to keep on pursuing because it wasn't a, a big deal to him in the first place like that. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So like due to like neurological reflexes, this fucks us up, especially more women. Yeah. You know, women are like, their brain is like, they have so many different wires while men have boxes. They compartmentalize a lot of stuff. Mm. Boom, 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 boom. See, there's like four, four mm. boxes. And then we do this. Women, it's like wires. All crossed together, different colors and yeah. shit. <laughs> like, where does this one go? It got loose. <laughs> yeah. So it might like, and that comes down to like now constant overly thinking, indecisiveness, this, that, mm-hmm. like that. I want so many things. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. You like know. so many thoughts come yeah. at the same time. But we need to, you know, make, like, I guess like how you say men do, comp- compartmentalize. compartmentalize. Yeah. Can't say that word. If, if a man is in tune with his femininity and masculinity, mm-hmm. he's dangerous. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You know, so, um, and you can control those things, balance them, you know, and- uh, Balance. And- uh, Super important. Excel, so, you know, what are you going to say? If you were in a bookstore locked in, what section would you camp in? Damn, I wanted to ask you first. <laughs> You answer that first, and then I'll answer. See, this is what he's pulling the um, ladies first card. No, right? I know I'm I'm hip to it already. If I was in a bookstore stuck overnight, no, I'm curious. Um, <clears throat> I was just I'm just curious. Well, <laughs> I I am an avid book reader, and I read I read everything. Younger, I loved horror and thriller books. Loved them. Um, you know, sci-fi. T- oh, I love that shit. It scares mm. the crap out of me. But if I'm stuck in a in a bookstore by myself, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna camp out there. I'm gonna go to um, where EL Discipline books are sold. Oh, <laughs> camp out there, and then probably work my way into. Um, I'm not gonna say like I, I forgot the, the 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 correct wording for it, um, but there's a lot of sex in it. Not porn. Erotic uh, romance? Yeah. I'd be going there. Maybe like romance. Okay, let's go with romance. I'd be going in that section. Okay, so (laughs) if I was locked in a bookstore, I'd feel like a kid at a candy store. Yeah. So, so much energy in there. Oh, my God. So much ideas. Uh, Yes. Yes, yes. All my favorite authors. So, out of like, I got like maybe four categories. Okay. I got uh, mystery, thriller. Psychological thriller. Not maybe by that, myself. Maybe that all those. goes in there, right? Yeah. Mystery suspense. Um, um, I have a romance. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a action adventure. Nonfiction. Mm. Nonfiction. Um, no, I wouldn't care too much about about that. Um, Me either. Not action. Um, more like thrillers. I think I think thrillers would be for me. Psychological thrillers, horror. Yeah. You know, I, you know what is crazy? Not by I wouldn't even camp out in it. I would be all over. I would be up. Yeah, I would be I would be, be all over the place yeah. because it's like there's too many. Horror, you know, romance, uh, mystery, psychological thriller, nonfiction. Like there's so many. Yeah. So I wouldn't be able to um camp out at one if I have to choose one, uh, maybe psychological thriller. Hmm. I like that. And if if I'm um stuck in a in a Barnes and Nobles, I'm heading over to the Starbucks section soon. <laughs> Do you believe um we can thrive in this world and most importantly with the opposite sex? And how, like, what do you believe we can do? As people? Mm-hmm. Um, I liked what the caller said. Um, and I, I am to add on to that, because she said, you know, everybody should um, know them. Well, she didn't say know themselves, but she said play their role. Um, and I, I can agree with that. But I definitely, I think the world needs to learn how to communicate properly. I've seen the battery low. You know you're bad with that, right? You're supposed to use <laughs> it until it until it shuts off because then something about if you charge it, mm. it messes up the battery. If it's not, I don't know. Mm. So my answer would be, I think the most important thing is that we need to learn how to communicate properly and understand. Because once you have understanding and you're able to communicate effectively what you want, then the other person can't say... You know, I didn't know that, or you didn't tell me, or you know, I'm communicating with you. We're we're talking, we're having a dialogue. That's important. That 
you have a dialogue and that each person understands what the other person is trying to communicate. Um, okay. Is uh, that one? You like that one? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, for me, to summarize it, it would be to get back in our roles hmm. and our okay. core energy. Because I think all of that will come with it from a man if he's in his role and all of that will come with a woman if she's in her role. Mind you, if a man is in his role, right, and he is approaching a woman and saying this straight up my these are my intentions my making my intentions perfectly clear this is why i'm pursuing you dating you this is where i see us in five years elevate empire boom kids marriage blah, 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 all this stuff the woman is withholding the woman is vulnerable because remember the feminine's role her role is to be vulnerable mm. vulnerable that's part of her role. Surrender, openness. Okay. This is what's going to allow the masculine to even want to do these things. Okay. So if the man is being straightforward okay. and she is not being vulnerable, she's a wounded woman. Okay. Like a wounded feminine. That's totally believable. It's like, the, it's like um, distorted. Mm. Her femininity is distorted. Mm. Eh, 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 eh. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's diminishing. She's probably highly in her masculine. Why do I say this? Because men naturally are selfish. Men naturally are closed off. Mm -hmm. They have their guards up until it's like, I trust this person. Then I let the pieces, like you get pieces of me. You earn me. Do you think that's naturally? You don't think oh. they're taught like that? You don't cry. You can't yeah, think to yourself. Yeah, be because that's how, that's how it is. So it's ingrained in us to be like that. Mm. Women are more inclusive. They want to share. They want to be open. They talk to strangers at the supermarket who are females. That's true. Men are more exclusive. Fuck what the crowd is saying. I'm going over there. I'm moving at the beat of my own drum. I'm saying what I want to say. That's not all men, though. Okay. Healthy men. There we go. Okay. Masculine mm -hmm. men. Masculinity. So this is the disconnect. Mm -hmm. So if a man is being open and honest and she's not receptive of that, what's wrong with her? Mm -hmm. She's highly in her masculine. She's like a wounded masculine man. Mm -hmm. She's she, Her femininity is the suppressed, mm -hmm. very low, mm -hmm. distorted. She's highly masculine because that's what men do. Mm -hmm. I've never met women that were like, I, I got secrets. I don't want to tell you. Women have always been open and that's because they're in their femininity. Men, that's what, that sounds like a man. A man would say that. A man would withhold. A man would be like that. So if, if I meet a woman, if I meet a woman tomorrow and I start opening up to her, I trust her. I start opening up to her childhood and stuff like that. I'm balancing my femininity. Mm -hmm. You see that? Because men don't naturally do that. Right. But what if she has a secret that she's ashamed of, even though it might not be her Doesn't part. matter. Because the man, you want him to love every part of you. Yeah, but... You, it doesn't a, matter. You scary, made certain a, decisions. You made certain decisions. You got to live with it. No, it no, no. Matter. I'm not even talking about like whatever decision she made. Maybe something was done to her that it causes embarrassments. When you get with a man and you love him and you see that this can be the potential, you have yeah, no choice have, but yeah, to do it. And that. I think that they do. And because if they if she starts investing emotions in him and can feel like she could keep this forever, it will come out one yeah. day. If that, if that is out. a God, it should come out. If one that day. is a God, understand they have higher powers supporting him. So if that is a God, she can lie, she can hide. He will be put, there will be things put in front of him mm -hmm. that we'll see. Because he's like, God, remember? He's in his king mode. Mm -hmm. So they are going to assist him. That's, because if, that's, if she that's, found a man like that's that. spiritual protection. A hundred percent. You know, me and you have, we mm -hmm. think on, on the same, yes. same level. So I, yes. I definitely. Karma. Karma. We could summarize it. Karma. Yes. Yeah. So leading people on is not going to get you good karma. I don't care what people think out there. I agree. Because we, we could be thinking we're untouchable. Mm -hmm. But we aren't. We can be touched. And what a lot of people don't talk about is spirituality. 
That's true. You are going to be affected with how you treat people, what you do, how you move, everything. So you could lie to those media. You could put on a front of how you are, but behind closed doors, they see you. So in a way, you forget people like that. And more people should actually dive more into spirituality. Yeah. Have spiritual discipline. Have sexual discipline. Have spiritual health. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mental health. Mm-hmm. So, you know, ultimately, like, what's going to make us interact with each other better? Being in our core energies, being in our roles. Mm-hmm. Now, modern people, especially in America, this is foreign. Well, how, it's a trigger. How would men get back in their roles, do you think? Or core energy? By following listening to other masculine men mm, okay. seeing the success with men stop listening to beta males mm. stop listening to men that say it's equal and she's the boss of this house too stop it stop listening to men like that they're setting you up for failure mm. go to the gym mm-hmm. mind body soul all of these things are in sync train these major components in the human body pray Meditate. Meditate more than you pray because at the end of the day, if God can hear our thoughts, why are we talking all the time? Hmm. Meditate more. Focus. Yeah, focus. Have mental discipline. Incorporate a hobby mm-hmm. and see if you could turn that into something like capital. Yep. Get on your purpose because that's the role of the masculine to constantly keep going and be on the move. Even when you get with a woman, you do not stop doing the things that you like. You like going to the club with your boys. She needs to understand that. You like, you know, writing books. She needs to understand that and Mm. accept it. You like doing workshops. You like going to the gym. You like whatever. Your dreams do not stop. And oftentimes these men get with these women and they do that. Because they think that's the right thing to do. Mm. So how do they get in their roles? Being a boss, not just a manager. Mm. Knowing how to be a boss. Because if you know how to be a boss, then you can, strengths and weaknesses, observation, psychology. You learn that shit too along the way. Human behavior. And you know how to strengthen those weaknesses in people. Now iron sharpens iron Mm -hmm. because they're in their life. You get somebody in your life, they become an asset. They become an asset, not a liability. Mm -hmm. You know how I think men can get back in the roles? The workshop. (laughs) This man. Get out of my head. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Father figures need to be around. Yeah. This is all part of the plan (sighs) to build feminized men. I mean, to build build feminine. I'm sorry. To build... Feminine men. Feminine men. No, but feminized men is, is a... No, I think it's the same. feminized men. It's like feminine yes, men. Yes, yes. Yeah, it was, right, it was correct anyway. Men. Um, but I do agree with you 100% with everything. Um, but now my question to you is, what if the father, right, who is there but is like a piece of shit, would it be... Then he needs to seek out male mentors, do sports, coaches... But who? What about uncles? Whose responsibility would it be? Because now, keep in mind, that's a little kid, right? So he's. Let's say, let's take that exact scenario or whatever. What I told you about my aunt and my uncle, right? Mm -hmm. So the the kids now. I'm sorry, he's my uncle and all that good stuff. But that's not a good father. It's not a good father if he's beating the mother of his kids right in front of them. It's not a good father when he now takes it from the mother. Now we're going to go onto the daughter. Like how, how in, in that situation, would the father even be, you know, is it conducive to have him there still? I see. No way. So women are single mothers for all different Reasons. scenarios, exactly. all different cir- circumstances. But she wasn't, she stayed the whole time until my cousin got married and then my the brother and the mother move with the my the cousin. So this is often heard is happening in the Hispanic or uh black culture. My God, um, machismo. Yes. Now I'm not saying this doesn't go on in other countries. You know, um the moment a woman gets out of line and you do that, it's acceptable. 
right. you know, in other countries. But I'm just saying what I've observed, what I've heard, what I've seen. It's coming mostly from th- those two, with races or ethnicities. Right. So why? Because we have to get to the foundation. That's what I like to do. I like to get to the core, right? Mm-hmm. So get to the foundation. Trauma. No, yeah. Because trauma from from where where it's environmental trauma, like we discussed, mm-hmm. uh, you saw it growing up with your parents. Mm-hmm. Um, lack of two par- parental uh, figures in the household. Okay, you know what I'm saying. You've been around people that are like that. Mm-hmm. You build that trauma, and that trauma turns into all of those things you're stating. Aggression, uncontrolled aggression, um, not being able to communicate, um, you know, um, all of these things that you stated, Mm -hmm. you know, so it comes down to like, we getting back into our DNA. Now, if you have a father figure who, who you look at a a man, um, first of all, you have to look at him as a father figure. That's important Two, when you're looking at that man. You're looking to see, does he have um, like a uh, dominant leader characteristics? He was That's, very dominant. Is he compassionate? Is he caring? It's very imperative to vet and date somebody for a while. Mm-hmm. A sex is a decision on both parts. So if a woman is having sex with a man, she's giving him access and she knows, okay, he's going to... um. He's going to be inside me raw. What's the plan prior to that? She's going to take a blue pill after plan B or, or, or is she going to, if she going to, is he going to wear condoms? Like, is she going to get on birth control or what is going to be the decision prior to the big decision? But, but the, wait, I'm, I'm confused though. The, I, my, my question to you was a father like that, is it, go, is it still good to have She's vetting them- him prior. She's vetting him prior. You you have to understand something. But what if it's already there? Like people people are gonna show you who they are. They can't wear a mask for too long. That's you true. date somebody, right? You date somebody for a month. They're on their best behavior. Mm-hmm. Y'all didn't have sex yet. Mm-hmm. He he's probably still wearing a mask because he's like, right. I gotta I gotta I gotta get her flowers all the time. Yeah. I gotta I gotta simp because I want the pussy. Right, but I feel like you're saying you should do all hold this on, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me keep going. Okay. Right? I have to simp. I want to get the pussy, right? So he's wearing a mask. He's agreeable. He's all the time, yeah, baby, you're right, you're right. Let's do everything together. You want to go hiking? He does. He's not being honest. Two months now, three months down. Now, they already had sex within a month, two months now. Now, after the third month, she starts to see things. Mm-hmm. You see? Okay. These are the red flags a lot of women avoid based off what it is. Let's say the sex is really great. I got you. I understand what you're saying. So it's the woman that is accepting because she can always walk out. I know. But my question was, you said it's imperative, and I agreed with you. It is imperative for a father to be there. Mm Mm-hmm. She's deciding. I, I guess the what fa- I she's deciding to say, the the right, counterpart. but you're you're saying this is for beforehand. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about it's already here. The kids are here. The father is whooping everybody's ass. Is it still conducive to have that man in the house with the children as the father? Like that's my that's my question. No, that, but a lot a lot of women so a lot of women unless due to, they due see, to loyalty, I don't want to be like that. Due to loyalty. A lot of women, a lot loyal by her fault too, won't get rid of him. I think she won't, loyalty they, and money. Hold on. She won't say, I'm leaving because maybe if he is that way, he's like, you're not going anywhere. I'm going to kill that's, you. That's one. Two, she's also not calling the cops. That I don't know if she did. That's what I'm saying. A lot. We see this a I, lot I don't more, think she did. We see this a lot more with that, with them being loyal to a fault. So she's like, it's a lose lose. Is it loyal to a fault or is she scared? Now we're talking about a woman from a, a different country who's meek and quiet. Loyal to a fault. I think because she's for her, it's like, you know, then why don't she call the police then? Because, because she's, she's loyal to a fault. No, because she's scared. He, I think what ha- in, in, in that dynamic, the, the, what I'm trying to, um, what I'm sure you ever with heard you, that thing, you ever heard that expression? No good deed goes unpunished. No good, yes. Yeah, loyal to a fault. 
Why won't you call the cops? Because she's scared. What's more, what's, what's, what, what feeling is more? I'm loyal or I'm scared to death. I'm scared that he already beats me. If I call the cops and he finds out, what happens when they let him out? He's going to kill me because he said he's going to kill me. You leave me, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to find you, I'm going to kill you. You call the cops, I'm going to find you, I'm going to kill you. That's the type of man that he was. So it's not just loyalty. I understand that there are women that are like, oh, you know, but when it's something that's then done what does she do in that circumstance then? She stayed until the daughter got pregnant, Why? got married. Why? Because of money? Because or, of money. Or, or sex? Only Definitely money. not sex. Okay, so, so survival. Survival. Financial security. Okay, yeah. so what would have been her decision to make moving forward to get out of that situation? I said it earlier. Save money and stuff? Or go back to your parents, friends. Did he cut she all that off? Did he her, cut all that off? You cut all your friends her off? Her parents were, I mean, these are older people. They're just my parents' age. So back then, her parents were in their country. And okay. she didn't have, it was just them. Okay. So a lot more women go through this because they're not, educated yeah you know and it was a different time back then too like completely different yeah. to now like yeah. now there's so many you know you could call a hotline people i've even seen um like people sharing how when a woman was getting beat and she she would call she called the cops but she asked for a pizza mm -hmm. and he was like you're calling for pizza and she like she was almost using code and they're like oh and they figured it out like there's, i think there's i feel like there's way more um, things that women can do now if they're in that situation. Whereas back then, <laughs> how old am I? Forty six. Okay. Back then, it was harder. Okay, I could agree with that. Yeah, I could agree with that. But if you're in a situation like that now, like you, you know, you have and an staying, outlet. That's the difference. You have an outlet. You you have options. Mm -hmm. You know, you could go back to your parents. You can um, you know, save up money. You could get friends, like oh, let's all like live together, whatever. You mm -hmm. can get out of the, yeah, those situations. You don't have to stay in those situations because, God forbid, you get killed. Yeah, you know. So there's ways to get out of it. Uh, so final thoughts. Final thoughts on what's the? Can you scroll down? Mine. Why is it important? Um. Why is it important for masculinity and femininity? In a romantic relationship. Um, I think it's important for... I agree with what um, the, the caller said about being in their roles. Um, almost kind of like what you said with the question, question previously. If you go back into your natural role, then and that will inspire the other person to go into their natural role, then everything kind of starts to go with, with the natural flow of the things you know mm -hmm. what i mean whereas if you are fighting against it or you're you yourself are in balance with your you know core energy then and and let's say he is if i'm the woman and i'm not and he is um then it's just gonna you know cause um conflict arguments because i'm not following the natural order i guess mm -hmm. Conversations seeping into her female estrogen. She's drenched between her legs from the seduction of discipline. I like it for me to talk and for her to say less. I could bend her over and spank her. Now she's whispering in my ear how much she's in love with this intelligent gangster. Intelligent gangster, you can get yours now, online store. And um, what needs to happen is the reason why this is important in the relationship dynamic is because polarity mm. we are fighting our polarity and polarity is important in the relationship dynamic sexual emotional spiritual psychological polarity mm. so you know i always tell women don't be on birth control you know you're gonna start um not being so attracted bad. to the guy that you're really into birth control is a uh component it is something that w is uh, fucking up with your DNA, so you aren't attracted to masculine men. You know, um, you think you're pregnant. It's like psych it's psyching your brain out to think you're pregnant. You like these soft guys, say something nice to me all the time, whatever it is. Follow me, do whatever I say, right? Because of that. So it's part of the plan. All these things matter in the relationship dynamic. 
you know, polarity. Mm. You are fighting your polarity. You're fighting your core. This is going to make a relationship successful when there is a balance and when a man and a woman is in their core energy. Now, if they are balanced, she's balancing her masculinity, maybe during the day, femininity in the relationship, he's balancing his femininity, where he could be compassionate, acceptance, understanding uh, with her, communicate efficiently mm -hmm. as being in his feminine. Um, and he can also be in his, highly in his masculine. They get both what they want um, separately and together, mm -hmm. especially in the relationship dynamic. Masculinity and femininity is godly. It's divine. So like the spiritual structure, it's God, man, woman, children. So if you, a woman loves God, she's going to love a man because God, a man is in the image of God. So if women do not respect men, just like she said, men will not love women. This is the disconnect. Mm -hmm. Too many women are emasculating men. Men ain't shit. Da, 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 da. Words are powerful. Yeah. So if you generalize men and say men ain't shit, you are getting ain't shit. Because mm -hmm. words are powerful. I never say women ain't shit. I don't get ain't shit women. <laughs> there you go. I love women. You know what I'm saying? And I especially love women when they are in their role. That's when they were the most beautiful and most powerful. They're not powerful. I make money, CEO, rah, rah, I can put my chest, dick measuring contest. You know, mm -hmm. I got nine inches too. Da, 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 da. What? Get at what? <laughs> it's crazy. This is a dick measuring contest <laughs> when you get with a man? Oh that doesn't give you respect mm -hmm. and it doesn't going to get you love. Mm -hmm. Stop talking about your accolades when I meet you. Don't care how much money you yeah. make. That's a man thing to boast. It's a man characteristic to boast mm. women shouldn't be doing it mm. i know it all i do it all i did it look whatever uh, i'm gonna show off too uh, 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 i do what you do you equal us 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 no that's counterintuitive it's actually turning him off them off mm. if you're trying to find masculine men that's not the way to go about it you're not going to get respect from them from that the irony is um you being the opposite is going to get you love and respect it's going to get you the provider it's going to get you a man that's going to want to protect you, mm. hold you accountable. Yep. So these things, these energies are important. Masculinity and femininity, do it's not gender based. No. Nope, we have I both. Agree. However, man is supposed to be in his masculine. Woman's supposed to be in his in her feminine. This is how we are able to thrive very well and and um, you know, coexist with one another. Complementary mm. opposites. So, you know, well, even in the gay community, there are yes. the masculine and yeah. the feminine, yeah. and they usually go to. I've never seen two masculine anything or two feminine yeah. anything. So, any relationship dynamic, mm -hmm. I'm glad you said that. There is a masculine and a feminine, a dominant and a submissive, mm -hmm. and that's how it works. Mm -hmm. Even if they lie and say it's equal and they go on platforms just to sound politically correct, so people don't hate them. Oh, mm -hmm. we all do the same thing. They're lying, mm -hmm. they don't even realize probably they're lying. Even animals, like the more masculine one teaches, like dogs, when yeah. when they are playing it's, or whatever, the the more dominant one will nip the other one to yeah. teach them. You don't do it's, that. It's a subconscious. Yeah. It's a subconscious thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, they're not lying. Let me correct myself. But it's a subconscious thing. They're unaware of it. Mm. You know, and um, you know, how do we get in this? How do we get back into our DNA? We have to start doing the things as a man to build that testosterone. Do do more things for women to build your estrogen. Mm. You don't want to be building your testosterone as a woman. You don't want to be going to the gym trying to look like a man. Taking performance enhancement drugs and shit like that. Oh, no. You shouldn't be trying to have a six pack like him. You know what's crazy about me? Just have your stomach flat. Don't have an eight pack like me. That's disgusting. <laughs> I don't want to date a, a, a muscular woman. I want mm. some soft shit so I can squeeze. You got to be the opposite of me. Women get the big misconception. Oh, he's a personal trainer, so I got to be on my shit. Just, yeah, I would think that too. Just keep your shit right and tight. Slim thick. Not, not muscular though. Slim thick. Not See? muscular. I just wouldn't be his You name. know what I'm saying? And I don't think any man likes that unless he's beta. You don't think like those no like, real men, physical men, fitness type no, guys don't no, like those No, I chicks? believe- Not men, the huge girls. Because but, they maybe they're beta. Oh, and they're just real, big physical. Yes, gotcha. real men like women who are opposite. Mm, I'm interesting, and I do interesting shit. 
But I don't, why is she telling me she is? Who cares? I've told women that. What are you what are you doing? Are you trying to compete with me? I've had women, no, I'm not trying to compete with you. Are you sure? Maybe she was, I don't know. I like boring women, even boring looking women. The lashes, get them out of here. Mm. Stop trying to get a BBL. Just oh, go to the gym. I'll, yeah. I'll, 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 I'm a nutritional specialist too. Mm-hmm. I got you. Stop trying to do that. Mm. Men like boring women. Women like interesting men. We like the opposites of each other. Mm. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Men don't care about status. Women do. Men yeah. don't care if you're a desirable female by a lot of men. Turns them off. But women will gravitate towards a desirable man. That women are, yo, she's co-signing for him. How mm. I know he got a big dick. No. Mm. He could just be talking shit. Oh, she told me though. That's, That's true. Like, now nah, I want to fuck with him. Women are always looking for other women to validate a man that she's going to interact with. Ba- baby girl, we've been, we been, we been, we been high school friends for 20 years and we still going, yo, I like this guy. What you think? Mm. Oh, he cute. You go, girl. That's Validation. True. Yeah. Check me. I didn't even see it like that. Yeah. That's you see true. what I'm saying? Men, real men don't do that. Mm-hmm. I never had to show a man my submissives and be like, yo, what you think? Because mm. I don't give a fuck about the best looking girl. You the best looking girl for right. me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I never, don't care I never about did you that either. being perfect. You're perfect for me. Mm. So what happens is we need to get back in our DNA. The masculine is more straightforward. God is in him, divine, right? He leads like a man, regardless of the woman. Could be a feminist, whatever. Oh, I hold my own door. I'm doing this. Right. I'm doing this. Relax. I don't know what type of man you dealt with, but this ain't gonna happen here. You want to be with me? Calm down. Okay. Calm down, because if this doesn't work and this is a, a headbutt thing, then I'm gonna leave, mm. and you go go find somebody else. She's adjusting. I promise you, she's going to adjust. Mm. She will give you a fight in the beginning because she's used to that with a lot of men getting away with it. Mm-hmm. The moment she meets a guy like me, and I'm now I'm putting her in her place in the most eloquent way. I did not curse. Mm-hmm. That's true. I did not curse. And I don't have to raise my voice. Mm-hmm. I'm just speaking loud because I have a deep voice, so they could hear me. I don't have yeah, to raise I've my voice. I could give a woman. I could give a woman. Anybody. I could give a woman a dark stare. Now she knows I'm not happy. I could point. You understand? A dom, a real dom, doesn't hear? have to do all those things. Now, as the woman is seeing that, she's like, "Ooh, this is a serious man. I cannot yeah. run game she's on like, him." That's different. <laughs> Yes, and then she adjusts. Mm-hmm. She's she's used to that because men get women used to things. Mm-hmm. Women are creatures. It's almost of ha- like second nature for her to do it because they are creatures see. of habit. Yep. Mm-hmm. So that's why when you approach with money, she values you for that. You look like a weirdo to her, a simp. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? But if you approach her on a listen, I'm here to love your mind, stroke your mind, and your emotions, and you could do those things. She starts to build some type of value within this dynamic, and him. Okay, it's different. Mm-hmm. He knows how to I, stay in this conversation. I feel like as long as they're consistent, because if a guy yeah. comes and like, oh, I want to know your mind, she might be like, yeah, right. All you want to do is fuck. This is just a line. Of course, he wants to fuck. Yeah, no, but I'm. But it's just like the song from Mind Sex with Dead Prez. Mm-hmm. Let's have a sweet before we make love. Let's have a sweet conversation. Mm-hmm. Light an incense. I got the good vibrations. You see what I'm saying? So. It's like, yes, consistency is important, that's, and that's for both parties. Yeah, for but how course. would the woman get back into her femininity, be on the journey, mm-hmm. go to therapy, get in tune with femininity? She said she listens to soft music. Mm-hmm. I always said this. I said this in episode 27. Playlist. Yes, mm-hmm. I said it in episode 27, loyalty and trust. Judge a woman by her playlist. Yeah. I don't mind if you listen to trap music, but that's all you have in your playlist? I don't like trap music. Personally, I'm just saying. That's her personality. She probably likes trap Dudes, mm. hood dudes. Where's the soft music at? Where's mm-hmm. your femininity? Mm-hmm. You didn't listen to Sade. You ain't listening what? to Lauren Hill. Mm-hmm. What's what's up? You just listening to yeah niggas ain't shit. That even the female rappers, mm. they're building masculinity within you, and yeah. you're gravitating towards those type of men. That's important. Do yoga. Do some type of exercise. Yeah. Yoga's the best. Meditate. Both men and women meditate, but the feminine build that. And be honest with yourself because the feminine is very honest. Yeah. Sometimes be it's open. Scary when you gotta be that be honest. open. 
What she's bringing, what the feminine is bringing into the table, the feminine, what the feminine is bringing to the table, openness, surrender, acceptance, compassion, collaborative. She's collaborative. Mm -hmm. She's willing to share. Work together. The masculine is dependent. I mean, the masculine is independent. Mm. Feminine is dependent upon the masculine. The masculine is independent. He's a provider. He's the, uh, he wants exclusivity, especially with his women. Real men appreciate exclusivity. That's why he doesn't feel special if you're posting your body online. Because he appreciates exclusivity. He wants to feel special. As you want to feel special, he wants to feel special. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have to know this within ourselves. We have to know what we bring to the table. What our role brings to the table in our energy. And what me, what I personally bring to the table. Mm -hmm. That's important. Definitely. Both parties. And that's how we're going to build this um, powerful dynamic and, and relationship dynamic and how we're going to be able to coexist with one another. There's a discrepancy, imbalance. Men are more, women are more masculinized. Men are more feminized. We're not connecting. Mm. Even though they're still attracting each other, but it's not lasting because we're not in our core. Mm -hmm. The ones that last are men are in their core, women are in their core. We're powerful here. Now we have superpowers, and part of the mass, part of the divine masculine's superpower is love. His love is powerful because it's also healing. Mm -hmm. And then now she becomes a healer because she's cultivating everything. Mm -hmm. He's giving her everything that she's attracting, and she's cultivating. Mm -hmm. Gives her a little seed, she makes it bigger. Imagine a plant or those so two energies getting together. Yeah. Ooh. So this is how we have to get back into our mm -hmm. DNA to work. Yep. So all that stuff like, oh, he lied and stuff of that nature, that's feminine energy. Because the masculine is going to be straight up. This is what I come with. I already have a woman in my life, but I want to connect with you. Mm. And she, okay, he put the ball in my court. I'm going to see what's up. Right. Whether I'm going to go, you know, try it out or no, it's not for me. Yes. Definitely. More men need right. to be straight up and, and do exactly. all that. Exactly. I was about to say that. Um, And women, women need to be more... um. Women well, they'll, they'll see. Yeah, they'll Re see if, recept if they, because that receptive of it. I feel like most women aren't receptive because they're they're not offered that. Like how you said, the ball is in your court. This is you know they they don't get that honesty like that most of the time. Yeah, so more more situations need to be like that. If the man leads with conviction, she's gonna follow. So mm -hmm. if he's being honest first, I guarantee you she's gonna follow him. Now if he's and in a hundred percent, if, if he's in a situation because I've been in these mm -hmm. where he's is being straightforward, he isn't leading her on, but she seems like she's flaky, then he walk away. Mm. I mean that's. You know what I'm saying? And he they, tell because but know. but he what because because I, I do this, I make those women aware of it before I leave. Mm. You're fucked up and this is why. Yeah. You need I, to heal and this is why. I enjoy why why am I being why am I being how you really should be? Why am I being open oh, first? Why you. am I being vulnerable? Mm -hmm. And I don't know shit about you. Right. Why why are you here? You mm -hmm. just being you just nosy, you just want to know stuff. Share too. <laughs> right. Now I make that a standard. When I put in my rules, like you know, I expect you to be open. That was never, it. never, you never had that before in your, in your before room? the lifestyle. No, oh, never. Gotcha. Always tell daddy the truth, cause I'm always, I'm already coming with that in the beginning. I'm telling you, I'm a dom. I'm gonna build with you. I'm doing, doing all these things already from the beginning. Mm. So now you got to do your part, give and take. Yeah, definitely. You know, give and give, like be, you, yeah, it you can't gotta be take, take, take all the time. You gotta do your part. Mm -hmm. So as men have to do their part, ladies. You know, I'm holding you accountable too. You have to do your part also. Mm -hmm. Because too many women are just like, well, the men are not this, the men are not. You're carrying baggage. What what about that? Yeah. What about and that? It doesn't have to be physical like children. What about that? At the end of the day, good men and good women, it's a rarity. Yeah. That good man has to have bad boy qualities for it to, for there to be balanced there. You believe that for or no? Woman, for a woman, you're saying. Yes. Do you believe yeah. that or no? Um, they have to be bad boy qualities for the woman to yeah. like them. Yes, because because the good man is the alpha male. He's not the nice guy. Mm. The nice guy's toxic. The hey, what what is your goals? I'm going with the flow. Toxic. Mm. Equality. Toxic. He's whatever you want to eat. Toxic. He's following the woman. Toxic. Mm. The good man is the alpha male, the provider, the protector. The I'm gonna protect, I'm gonna give you a safe space to articulate. I'm honest. I'm open. I want to take care of you. I want to love you. I want to make sure you're safe. Did you get home? Text me. Mm. 
you know what I'm saying? Whatever you 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 are required, I'm spoiling you in that sense. I ain't whipped, but I'm spoiling because you earned that. Mm -hmm. You're in a position that you've earned. And that's your woman that's, too, right? Yes, that's yeah. the good man. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of women who are messed up cannot appreciate this. Mm, so, true. so at the end of the day, that good man still has to have bad boy qualities. Here's the bad boy quality. She comes out of her face and say something, and you put her in, don't ever talk to me like that. Mm. Shut up. I don't know who you did. Don't ever talk to me like that. Mm -hmm. You don't have to say shut the fuck up or whatever it is. Or shut call up. Out her name, right? Be quiet. Right. Don't don't go out dressed like that. That's the bad boy. The irony about that is she's gonna respect you more and love you more because you're putting her in her place. You're holding mm -hmm. her accountable to be better for herself yeah. and even you. Mm -hmm. That's the bad boy. Now a lot of women won't get with the good guy because they're good girls because they feel like they can't bring those qualities. So you uh, so women women that say they want good men they have to be specific. Mm. Remember, when you talk to the ancestors, you have to be specific. You can't say, um, I want to be a millionaire. You have to set a goal. You could say, by the end of 2023, I want to have $1.7 million mm -hmm. from this, 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 that, and give it because they're taking mental documentation or they're writing it down. Mm -hmm. The universe. Yeah. So you can't just say, I want a good man. You have to put down your standards. I want a good black man. Who's also dominant, muscles and tattoos, maybe, who's also an intellectual. Who you got to put those mm -hmm. things down because then they'll be like, okay, I'm going to tailor it for her. Mm -hmm. Subjective. I'm going to tailor it for her that way, or even him. Hmm. Because you could be saying, give me discipline, God, please. Give me a good man. They could be summoning me. And I might not yeah, be, so many levels, but right? I might not be for you. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I might not be for you on a relationship mm -hmm. aspect. I want a good man. You're not being specific. So you get me and I'm only here to help you level save up. you, yeah. get level up, save your life. Maybe mm -hmm. you're going to do something that was dumb that could have put you in danger. Save your life, not be with you right. because you have a lot of bad habits that I'm not willing to deal with or whatever. Three kids, different baby fathers or whatever it is right. that I'm not willing to tolerate, but I might be in your life to elevate. You got to mm -hmm. find the answers. The gods will say, oh, I'm going to put this in front of you, but you got to do the work and find the answers. Yeah. So sometimes when it doesn't work out, it's one or two things. You dodge the bullet because they're protecting you, or you were just here temporarily to show them a different light. Mm -hmm, right. Show them a different totally way. I agree with that. Yep. So sometimes when you're like, oh, I want a good man, it's not relationship. It's to help me get on my healing journey because mm -hmm. I don't know how to do it. Or on the right path to where yes. they're going. Now, when you say, I want a good man for me to have kids with, love me, da 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 da, now it's then different. It's, exactly. now, now they're going to tailor it for you. Yep. So words are powerful and people have to be specific at what they want. Pray, meditate, definitely ask for this stuff. Yeah. But that's Both why I think when you pray, because you had said earlier, why are you, why are you gonna? If God can hear your thoughts, yeah. why you pray out loud? I feel like um, verbalizing out loud is like a big push. Yes. So if a woman is a good woman and a man is a, a a good man, he has to have bad boy qualities in him, and he and she has to have bad boy, bad girl qualities that they're only gonna bring within themselves. Mm -hmm. That's how it's gonna um, balance. Mm -hmm. If she is a good woman and she cannot be bad for him in private. Like his personal mm -hmm, slut or something mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. She cannot be whatever. If he's a good man and he cannot put her in her place, yo, don't talk to me like that. Mm -hmm. Move at the beat of it. This is what we're doing. Lead with conviction, no matter what it is. Uh, um, bring that even private or whatever it is in their dynamic. There's no balance. Mm. That's true. You see what I'm saying? So there needs to be a balance. Every woman has a bad girl in her. It takes him to lead her to that. Mm -hmm, to bring it up. So now he's transforming her. That's That's very important. And she builds love within that guy, respect, mm -hmm. trust within that guy. So that's why a lot of women, they'll lie and say they want the good man, but they really want a bad boy. Mm. It's just, I've had a lot of them. Now I want to be treated right, loved and all this. Else, so I think this is what I need to say. But what mm. happens if she's a masochist? <laughs> she has sexual masochistic tendencies. I like to be choked. I like to be, that's not going to probably come from a good man. He's going to have to also have bad boy qualities. He's going to have to dig in something dark and deep to unleash that mm. because he could be different things for you. That's why I could be the provider. I could be the protector. I could be the dominant. I could hold you in your place, but I could also be a daddy and cuddle you and I could love you and I could be compassionate. He has to be many different things mm. for that to work because if you like, oh, that's a good man. He's a gentleman. He's oh, That's not going to work because mm. what about my high sex drive? Mm. What about these dark desires that I have? Now she ends up cheating or 
like whatever i'm out i agree so balance is very important Women need to be honest with themselves. Mm -hmm. They may they may not have to say it publicly, but when they speak to themselves and I want this, you got to say extra. Definitely. You know, because that's that's where the balance will be. No woman that has already been through those things and she has some dark desires, especially sexual, really wants to be with a good man. That's true. Oh, sorry, I have to stretch. She really wants to be with a good man. I don't mm. believe that. You know, women want women have these dark desires, and that's a very equal cool part of the relationship too. Yeah, sex. Yeah, I agree. You know, so um, anything else? Nope, that's it. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you were tuned into Discipline Therapy Podcast. Peace.